They are cocky, friendly, not at all dangerous, and they are everywhere in Sochi. Thousands of stray dogs that were befriended and fed by the migrant workers that built the world's most expensive Olympics. They feed in the bins, make friends with skiing superstars, and one even made it to the opening ceremony. When the Olympic Park was finished, the builders moved on and there was no one left to feed the stray dogs. They were an embarrassment and Sochi City had a plan. It was going to kill them. A scandal was looming. But Nadia Maiborada had a different idea. In the hills above Sochi, she quickly set up a makeshift shelter for the dogs. She's already taken in 140 Olympic strays. And are you having success already finding new homes for the dogs? Sure, if you see, look here, before yesterday we have five puppies here and right now only three. Yesterday people come and adopt two puppies. So this is the way how the shelter works. But how does one woman raise money for a dog shelter created from nothing in a matter of months? The answer came from out of the blue when one of Russia's richest men, a multi-billionaire, remembered the stray dog he'd adopted as a child and put up the cash. My first dog I found on the street in my village. I have a tiny village. And it was maybe my very close friend for almost five years. It's a modern day Russian fairy tale. The slaughter of the innocents averted at the last moment when a rich man's heart melted. But now these Olympic dogs need to find loving homes. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Sochi.